Hello, how lovely it is to see you. Welcome to my new channel. <laughs> this is exciting. My name is Izzy, I'm an actor, a photographer, sometimes an artist and here I am on YouTube. What a day this is. I'm starting this channel sort of as an extension of my TikTok where I talk about TV, mainly Doctor Who and British comedies but just a little bit of everything. Um, I wanted to come over here because Basically it's a lot easier to have conversations with people over here, it's a lot easier to talk to people over here. This is a channel for me to waffle. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking in the viewfinder already, I already promised myself I wouldn't do this, here I am. I really wanted my first video on this channel to be a reaction to, I can't believe I'm saying this, <laughs> to be a reaction to the trailer for Netflix's The Sandman. So for those of you who don't know, we've known about the adaptation of The Sandman for a while, we've known that Netflix is adapting it, but basically we've had very little content, it's kind of been trickled through to us. So for those of you who don't know, this week, so from June whatever day, June the 6th I think it is, um, this week is Netflix Geeks Week. That's harder to say than I thought it was, I'll be real with you. Um, this is a week where Netflix celebrates their geek shows, so stuff like The Umbrella Academy, Lock and Key, what else is going on? First Kill, I'm very excited for First Kill, I must admit, and The Sandman. So from having very little content kind of trickled to us, what we're now having today is an avalanche. It's very overwhelming, I must admit. So just to fill you in on where I'm at with The Sandman, I have just finished, you might be able to see them just here, um, the 10 core volumes of The Sandman. So from Preludes and Nocturnes all the way up to The Wick, um, it was a blast, I had a great time. I've also just read Endless Nights, so I only have Dream Hunters and Overture left to read. However, all the stuff that's in series one of the Netflix version is in the first two and a bit, we think. Hopefully we find that out today. Um, two and a bit Sandmans, so I think I'm safe in terms of content, like I'm not going to get any spoilers at this point. I am very obsessed, I will admit. Um, I started reading it and I was like, I don't really know if I'm going to like this. I've never read a comic before, I don't know if this is really my thing. Sandman. And Sandman Universe stuff, that's what this lovely thing is, if it will focus. Um, this is Nightmare Country, Volume 1. Volume 2 is also there. Volume. A dish. Issue. Issue 1. Got it. Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and eat my tea and then come back and film the panel because it's, what time is it? It's 20 past four and the panel doesn't start until 10 past six. <laughs> I wanted to film this now as I reckon it's gonna be quite a crazy half hour once the panel starts. We don't know what we're getting, in what order. We we haven't officially been told that there is a trailer, so there might be nothing for me to react to. We're getting a release date as well, finally. We assume it's going to be August, we just don't know when in August. Now we wait about two hours and I'll be back when it's slightly darker. Oh, I'm so scared. Why? <laughs> also, this is a day for Sandman. Um, here's my aunt. It's about to happen. This is... This is about to happen. <laughs> Exclusive posters. Hey. Oh, yes. There's dream history. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 What happened? Oh, he looks amazing. Yeah, I love that. God, that looks so cool. Mm. Beautiful. Oh my God. <gasps> I'm so <sorry>, what, <laughs> what the hell? August fifth. <laughs> August fifth. Uh, Mark Hamill. Uh, to be the voice of Murph Pumpkinhead. Shut up. Shut up. Um, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. It's happening. It's happening. I am the king of dreams. Ruler of the nightmare realm. Wow. What are you doing here, Essie? He's coming, isn't he? Yeah. Morpheus. You can hear him like that. You know the same man. He's a fairy story, is he? He's no fairy story. He's back. Did you know? Put down your hands! Open your hands! Now! Forgive me, sire of the palace, the realm. They are not as you left them. 
With you gone, the realm began to decay and crumble. The dreams and nightmares no longer seem to recognize the monster. Or will remind them. He's free. He's out of his cage. Someone. August. One minute. <laughs> I genuinely feel like I'm in a, a partial state of shock. The fact that the stream stopped working <laughs> just as the trailer was airing is hysterical. What I'm gonna do is just go back through, essentially. Sorry, I'm just checking out Sandman Twitter's reaction to that. We're all dying. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a look firstly at the stills that have dropped um, and then we will go back through the trailer together. Okay, we've got, oh, we've got Charles Dance as Roderick Burgess, amazing. Boyd Holbrook as the Corinthian. He looks amazing, I'll say it, like, he just, he looks stunning. And also him on that panel, he was brilliant. He was so good. So we've got Dream and Rose Walker. I love this shot, like that, they look amazing. I can't, I'm just gonna keep saying they look amazing because it just all looks amazing. Um, David Dulles as John Dee. The casting. The casting is just phenomenal. Oh, Kirby, Hal Baptiste, and Tom Sturridge as Death and Dream. And I really did want to see a bit of Death, and we got to see another bit of her as well in the trailer, and I'm so happy. <laughs> Gilbert, Stephen Fry as Gilbert. Yeah, oh my god. Mason, Alexander Park. Explain. Explain. How this is possible. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, we're gonna go back through the trailer now. <laughs> Let's start with these stunning shots of Dream. Um, looking very edgy, looking very moody. You can understand why if you've read it. <laughs> also, the development, that shot. So if we look, if I put the one from the first look here, Hopefully that's playing. Um, and then compare it to this, which is from this trailer. That's, the development of that is amazing. It looks, it looks good, I think, before. I mean, some people disagreed, but I think it, it just looks phenomenal now. The depth of it, oh my gosh, incredible. Joanna Constantine in a trench coat. Now I know that people wanted to see Joanna. Um, I know that I she was on my list. I wanted to see how they were handling Joanna Constantine. And after seeing her in this trench coat, I'm a very happy woman. I think um, they said on the panel there's gonna be a lot of cosplayers. Agreed, there will. There will be lots of cosplayers for Joanna. The Aneromancer, what a word. Aneromancer. <laughs> this shot, Tom in the glass. Sorry, I'm just, I'm explaining them. You can see them, I'm explaining them so I know which shot I'm putting on the screen. Um, I'll put it here. Tom in the glass. He looks. Um, we're not doing this here. <laughs> he looks lovely. <laughs> Tom. He looks a lovely young man. Moving on. <laughs> so this shot specifically here, this is dedicated to the wonderful Swirly. Um, I may have, I've got a bonus clip here from when the questions got answered in the panel. I'll put it here. Being Swirly. literally the best character. Oh wow. <laughs> the best, <laughs> like you know, I mean, all the characters are the best, really. So they're being very kind. Yes, Swirly, <laughs> oh. you're a fan favorite. So Swirly is the backbone of Sandman Twitter. She is a wonderful person. We are lucky to have her, and all she has wanted is a shot of the lovely Lucienne, and she's got that. And she had her question answered in the panel. This Lucienne just, oh, they've done such a good job. She looks amazing. How many times have I said they look amazing? They look amazing count here. <laughs> I love the glasses. I love the ears. The ears especially. Very nice. Very nice ears. I won't say that again. <laughs> I have been just waiting to see how they handle the Endless. Full stop. I love the Endless. Endless Nights. Very, very good. One of my favourites. Just seeing Kirby 
smashing it. Oh, why am I emotional again? Just seeing Kirby is death. There's something very special about it. Um, she looks amazing. She looks amazing. Why am I crying? I'm not really making much sense, but this is the reaction. This is my honest reaction to it. Right, this bit, this one right here, this one right here, officer. I've got both of my wishes here. So I, all I want to see was Mason as Desire and we've got this and the still. And they have Despair's sigil. Um, they have, oh, I can't talk. <laughs> they have the ring on their finger. They look so good. Mason, if you're watching this, I love you. I'm, <coughs> you look incredible. I'm so excited to see you, Desire. You're definitely not watching, but <laughs> this is when the trailer froze <coughs> on the actual stream. This is a very creepy shot. Very unnerving character that I'm really excited to see how they handle this full stop just because you've, you've got a man who's got mouths for eyes, like, <coughs> how, do you, how do you do that on the screen? And elements like that and like Matthew speaking and Merv and all of these things that work so well in drawn form I just I'm so obsessed and so intrigued to see how they're gonna translate to the screen there we are it happened it's very easy to kind of be like why are you emotional and to a certain degree I get that um <laughs> however we've just we've had nothing like for those of you who haven't been like around this growing fandom, this ever-growing fandom, by the way come join us, come join us, we all love you, um, t t we've had nothing, like we've had crumbs that we've all just been scrabbling for and to have this much dumped on us at once, so the trailer, the release date, the fact that Mark Hamill is playing Merv, but, uh, it's a lot. And I wish I could give more coherent thoughts, but I'm not sure I can. Maybe I can when I go back and edit. Um, you might get editing me giving better notes than I just gave. 5th of August. See you there. <laughs>